there it's Hillary and welcome back for another creative faith video today I am sharing part two of my gratitude junk journal setup and I'm really excited to give you some more gratitude junk journal altered book ideas here in this YouTube video I wanted to start off by letting you know that all three fall kits in my Etsy shop are all on sale for 20% off through Friday, November 3rd, 2023. No code needed. I'll have all three of them linked down below. I still have a couple of my pouring out praise Psalms of Thanksgiving scripture rating kits from last year. I think there's two left of these at the time I'm filming. And then I have my full of gratitude devotion book um, kit that I launched last month that is all um, on sale for 20% off. And then the newest kit, the gratitude junk journal kit, all three of those are 20% off until supplies run out. I'd love to get the last of the kits in your hands. Um, both of the two fall kits from this year are over 50% sold out. So I'd love to get the last ones into your hands to do some awesome gratitude journaling to really use this season to reflect on God's goodness and all the many things we have to be thankful for. So I do have an unboxing video showing what comes in this kit and I'll link that down below. And then I also have a part one setup where I shared, I think it was through, let's see, through day nine. <laughs> so through day nine, I shared in the part one setup video. So I'll link that video down below too, if you want to see those ideas. So I'm not going to spend too much time on those first few because I already did that in the first video. So in the second video, I'm going to start um, here. I'm thankful for perseverance. So from here to the back, I did all the rest of them. So days 10 through 30, I have set up now. And then I have, I didn't work anymore on any of the prayer pages yet. Um, those were all mentioned and shown in that part one video so I didn't set up any more of those but let's dive in and I'm going to share some more ideas on setting up a gratitude junk journal I'm using an altered book this year but I do also have another video where I share a few different ideas on how you can set up a gratitude junk journal and then also, if you are not a part of the Creative Faith Facebook community, the private Facebook group for Creative Faith & Co., that is a great place to get lots of ideas and inspiration. It is sometimes hard for me on Instagram to be able to see, you know, people's posts and pages and things like that. But on Instagram or on the Facebook group, it is really easy to see how people are using Creative Faith products and printables. So definitely go check that out if you haven't yet. Um, so here was the last page I mentioned in that first video, Thank you for Perseverance. So now we're into the next page, which is Stormy Seasons. And so I have been, well, for as long as I've had creative faith, I always like to make a little freebie packet to include in all the physical Etsy orders I have. So that's something you have to look forward to. And um, I'll normally put like a little washi sample or a paper clip or a sticker, or die cut, things like that. Um, but they come in, I switched from plastic to doing these cute white paper bags. And this was actually bigger, but I tucked in the sides and cut off the bottom so it would fit in here. And I used it to make a little pocket. So that is a really great idea to don't throw away or recycle or get rid of that bag that comes with the freebies for your order. Um, you can totally use it in your gratitude junk journal. So I added some of one of the new printables, the gratitude junk journal pattern paper printable. And I'll have that linked below as well as the coordinating printable for this kit. Um, it comes with everything you need to set up a gratitude junk journal, um, including this leaf image as well as prompts. All 30 prompts are in there too. So I really love how this looks and I used one of the cards in the kit. You get a flash card and so I love using these to do journaling and write a little verse or a prayer on so that'll be really fun. And 
just looks so cute peeking out the top there. All right, next I have this page, which turned out really cool. I cut a little window in it. And so this side is painted, and so you can see the orange poking through. And then I used the napkin that comes in the kit as well. And I used some gesso, and I show this process in the setup video for part one. I prepped a lot of backgrounds on that video, and then I was able to take some time to have them set up. So I use this little um, roll it, vintage Rolodex card, and so I can use this for writing a prayer or, or using it to write the verse. And then this is the Fall Floral Pumpkins printable, a very good one for setting up your gratitude junk journals. Then here I'm thankful for change, and so I thought I could kind of journal up here or down here, or I could even journal around here too, um, and write a verse write a prayer and using these really pretty leaves that come in the gratitude junk journal kit and um, that is in my Etsy shop so it comes with again all the prompts that you need. I'm thankful for worship. The gratitude junk journal kit comes with a sheet of music, a little piece of sheet music that's about that big. And so this is the perfect page, the worship page, to have the sheet music. And I decorate it with, some, with a tag and some acrylic paint, some stamps. So I love how that turned out. And this is a part of that pattern paper printable that I mentioned. And I thought that would be really nice for journaling on top of. And then you have this cute little grateful mug. And this is one of my favorite pages that I set up. I love how this turned out. So this is one of the pattern papers and I cut out letters and in the pattern paper. And I just think it looks super, super cool. And I do it later as well in here, but I just love, I put so thankful, but you could use this to write anything. Let me see if I can find the other one to kind of show you the comparison. So here I used it to put the prompt for the day. So joy. And here I just put so thankful. And then this is the leaf notepad, but you also get a digital version of it in the gratitude junk journal printable. So this is actually the printable <laughs> version and it looks very nice there. I printed all my things on white sticker paper and I'll have my favorite white sticker paper linked down below on Amazon. I love printing on sticker paper because then you don't even need adhesives <laughs> and it makes it really easy. But I also love, love, love my notepad. This comes in the Gratitude Junk Journal Kit and is perfect for making gratitude lists, prayer lists, scripture writing, or even for to-do lists for your fall season. Next, we have Thankful for God's Love. I thought the heart mug was very perfect and I used some different heart stamps around here. And so I thought this one looked kind of like heart steam going up. Next we have Thankful for the Fruit of the Spirit and I pulled out my Full of Gratitude Apple Cider printable. So this is the printable that goes along with this kit and I'll have that printable linked below. Um, but I thought that was very perfect for this fruity theme for Thankful for the Fruit of the Spirit. Kind of a fall take on that. And then thankful for God's forgiveness. These are actually two elements from my He Gave Up His Life for Us scripturating plan, the Lent one. And I thought that was really great with the um, nails in the shape of a heart and the crosses to reflect on being thankful for God's forgiveness. And I'll have both of these printables linked down below. The junk journal kit also comes with two um, old worship cards. So one of them is a worship registration for visitors and members. And then the other card it comes with is an Usher uh, volunteer request card. And these are old um, from a different church. And so I thought you could use it for journaling around. You could put some paint on it if you want. But I thought that was especially great for using for the page about being thankful for church or community or serving. So I also decorated with some of the cute little acorns here. 
And then thankful for God's comfort, I used again the printable that comes that's uh, goes along with the full of gratitude um, kit, and I just love the little window with the candle on it and curling up with a cup of apple cider in the fall and reflecting on being thankful for God's comfort. Then I used that pattern paper I keep mentioning and I also I printed it on white sticker paper and then I also printed it on clear sticker paper. And I think it looks really cool on the corners here and I can put a picture here of my church or my Bible study group and reflect on being thankful for community. And then this is from my fall photos printable. It comes with a few kind of traveler's notebook sized images and I love this one which is the color scheme and the leaves and the boots in it. And so this is reflecting on being thankful for God's grace. And then this is one of the little journals that also comes in the same full of gratitude printable. Thankful for the hope of heaven. Just added some brown paint to the page and used some sticky notes and one of the mugs for reflecting on that. So now as we get kind of more towards the end, the pages are a little simpler, <laughs> but at least I have kind of a base down to be able to work from on that day. So this one's thankful for conviction and I used one of the leaf notepad pages. I just love, this is like my favorite product I've made in a really long time. I love how that turned out. And then thankful for God's strength. I used another uh, flash card. I have a whole stash stash and stack of them. <laughs> you get one in your gratitude junk journal kit, um, but you could definitely order a, pa a new pack on Amazon if you like using things like this, or check out your thrift store or estate sales for more flashcards, but they're really, really fun to use for journaling. And I used a piece of pattern paper that I got from Michael's here to make a pocket. I love the pink pumpkin. And then this is that pattern paper, the junk journal one, and then this is from my fall photos printable. So I love pink pumpkins and I thought it just matched and coordinated really well with this neat pattern paper from Michael's. And then I use that pattern paper here too. So here I ripped it on the tops and bottoms and cut it straight on the side. And then here I um, cut it into an oval. And I haven't decorated this page yet, um, but I can, or I can leave it too. So thankful for serving others, the ability to serve others. Here's one I showed you earlier, thankful for God's joy. And I just love the mug. It goes along with Romans 15, 13. And again, using that pattern paper to cut out letters. Thankful for growth. I thought the leaves were very perfect for this theme and I love the prayer list with the flowers on it. This is a happy planner um, page and I think it looks kind of cool with just the, you know, little discs down the side and things like that. And here's another leaf page. Thankful for my job. I used another notepad that I have in my Etsy shop. This one I've had um, for a while, but if you don't have it, now's the time to pick it up. I'll have it linked below. It is a great one for your prayer journaling. And I love the neutral brown color scheme. Great to use all year, all season long. And so I have this for writing a prayer with the printable on top. And then this page is from my gratitude three by three verse cards and it comes with some blank versions. And so those are really great for journaling and I'll have that linked below. Then I'm thankful for God's wisdom. I used the sunflower images from the fall photos printable. Again, another journaling um, on a flashcard and I used some more pattern paper from Michael's to make another pocket. And that is the end. So then I have the prayer pages. I'll just do a quick flip through. I already showed these in the other video, but spots to do prayer journaling. 
and just excited for documenting gratitude this fall season. This was a fun pocket idea. And then in the back, I put all of the gratitude prompts and have oh, as a little flap there um, to be able to check them off. So that is part two of the gratitude junk journal flip through. I hope this gave you more altered book ideas, junk journal ideas. It's a really fun way to get messy, try something new, and most of all though, document your gratitude. And I wanted to read this verse before we close. It says, oh give thanks to Yahweh for he is good for his loving kindness endures forever. And I think that's just such a beautiful verse to end this video on and really encourage you to have an attitude of gratitude and document your blessings this fall season, but not just this fall season, but all year long. And I hope you will take advantage of the sale in the Creative Faith Etsy shop on these three fall kits. It is such a fun time of year to use some really great fall bible journaling um, ideas and inspiration so be sure to give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and the bell notification so you don't miss out on any creative faith videos and check out all those links i mentioned in the description box below and thank you for supporting creative faith thank you for being here and i cannot wait to see you in the next video bye friend